I have a pretty major problem. You see, my pickaxe, well, actually both of my pickaxes, are at really low durability. And both of them have mending on them, but I don't know if it's a bug or something, but when I collect XP, not all the XP goes to my tools. You'll see my bar will fill up a little bit. And some of the XP does go to the tool and it does repair the tool. But I was pretty sure the way mending worked is if you were holding a tool that wasn't fully uh, repaired, all of the XP you collected would go to healing that tool. And that's not the case. So I've been having a lot of trouble keeping both of my pickaxes uh, like safe from breaking. And that's becoming more and more of a problem as I'm needing to mine out more blocks for this. I'm gonna need to mine out an area underneath here. So there's we need to do something about that. And to, the th way, what I'm gonna do about that is build an Enderman farm. But there's one problem. <laughs> Um, they require a whole lot of bamboo, and I know we just went on our journey to find bamboo, but you need a whole lot of bamboo. For my Enderman farm, I'm going to be using, uh, Silent Whisperer's design. Uh, I absolutely love all of his farms, and he always does bedrock farms, puts so much effort into them, they're usually the best bedrock farms you can find anywhere. So I have Silent Whisper's Enderman Farm video pulled up, and he includes this list of um, materials down here. So let's see, 1,621 1, scaffolding. 1,621 scaffolding times six bamboo for each piece of scaffolding is 9,726 pieces of bamboo. Divide that by 64 to get the amount of stacks. 152 stacks of bamboo. I've been growing some bamboo with the bamboo that I found. I think I have three stacks so far. I have to, I have to turn three stacks into 152 stacks. Now here's the problem. How do I build a bamboo farm underground when my pickaxes are at this low durability. The whole point of building a Enderman farm to repair my pickaxes so that I can build a bamboo farm, but I need to have my pickaxes repaired, it's a big loop. I'm trapped in a loop. I, I guess the only way to get out of it is to make another pickaxe. So let's let's make another pickaxe, I guess, and start digging. I don't think I have any other choice. So yes, I went on a quick um, detour to the end. I figured with all this um, area underneath here that I'm going to be digging out, Probably need a few more shulker boxes, so we got just killed some shulkers. I did manage to get a second elytra, which is obviously pretty nice. So right now I'm gonna dig out this area, and um, I know I want to have a slime farm in about this area to about this area. I'm pretty sure it's where the chunk is about. So the bamboo farm is probably gonna have to go like down here and that way. So maybe like directly underneath this. If the stairway loops down and around here, it'll go underneath this path right here. And then if I have a slime farm right there, bamboo farm right there, uh, some other farms in that area, all underneath the ground, I think would look, or just the layout would be nice. So I'm gonna start digging out this area, start digging out under here, and we'll see how much of that we can get done. It has been uh, quite a while but we've been making some good progress. This is the area that the bamboo farm will eventually fill up. I'll have to go like 18 blocks into the air, so it's not as high as it will be, but this is just the area. And then I have a nice staircase template uh, going all the way up to 
the main floor right here. And I sort of thought it was cool to have the staircase like winding down, fitting in with this idea of this entire area being circular. So it's been a few days since that last clip and I've been farming a little bit of bamboo, just trying to get as much as I can, get the growth process started. And I have gotten quite a few stacks. Uh, let me just check here. Yeah, quite a few stacks. Still a long way to go though, and I need a total of 150 stacks of bamboo. Uh, I just AFK there and then go chop some down. Or what I'm doing, if I'm not AFKing, is I'm mining out this area down here. So the slime chunk is from he this grass block all the way to this grass block. So it's quite bigger than I thought. Um, but what I found out is slimes can only spawn below Y level 40. So unless I'm going very deep, which I'm not for this bamboo farm, I really don't need to worry about the slime chunk. So this bamboo farm isn't going to be in the slime chunk, but I know I can have other farms under the arc, but over the slime chunk, over in that direction if I need to. Progress seems to be going quite well. Um, this entire area is now covered in grass and I've put a bunch of bamboo that's been growing. Um, it looks like the bamboo grows in the light, so I'm gonna have to be sure I light up this entire area. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's growing quite well as it is. All right, I got some good news. Um, the bamboo farm, I think, is working mostly. Um, you just saw some growing right there. I've applied, I've put in a bunch of glowstone pillars uh, because bamboo needs a light level of nine to grow. So like right there needs to be light level nine. Even if all the way at the bottom was lit, lit up enough, uh, it needs the top to be lit up. So I've put in a bunch of glowstone pillars, which I believe will cover most of the area. Now, one of the problems I ran into is I don't have a lot of slime. So for this very first test, I'm going to move this one over here um, and put in another one and like just shorten both sides a little bit because I don't have enough slime to cover both sides. Now, how, if my if I built this correctly, when I break this block, this slime flying machine will shoot across, chop down a bunch of the bamboo. As you can see, I've left a gap in the glowstone to allow the uh, slime to fit through and not impact that. So let's give it a go, shall we? And it seems to be moving. It seems to be working just as expected. Oh, that's wonderful to, wonderful to see. This is gonna be such an easier way of collecting bamboo. Uh oh, there seems to be, well maybe we'll have to check that this is all spawn proof as well, because I don't want any bugs glitching this out. Now, will it turn back is the question. It won't, which I wasn't fully really expecting it to, um, but I sort of set it up so it would, but I didn't check it uh, at all. But, the ba yeah, the bamboo farm is basically working at this point, which is super nice to know. The This has all been for the XP farm, so we're making our way to one new Enderman farm coming very soon, which is so good to know. And it seems to have produced a ton of bamboo as well, which is very nice. Like, I have to keep getting rid of stuff from my inventory, because there's so much bamboo! Thank you everyone for watching this video. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. And I, what I just wanna say is, as we reach episode 10 of Andromeda updates, which is super cool, um, I've been having so much fun doing this, but with school starting here in a week, I just wanna let everyone know that um, the episodes will not be coming out every week. I'll be doing my best to post as often as possible, but um, just time-wise, I won't be able to do every week like I have been doing uh, for the most part. Thank you everyone for watching Andromeda Updates. Episode 10, uh, reaching that milestone is super cool. 
And so thanks to everyone who's been here since the beginning or even anyone who's just tuning in now. It means a lot to have people uh, happy to support and who are enjoying the videos. So thank you everybody for that and I'll see you all later. Adios.